you can't get caught up in the game that most nine to 11 year old entrepreneurs are getting caught up in that I talk to. (laughs) Oh what, you don't see what I'm doing on Musical.ly? (laughs) That was funny, right? My life's funny. Uh, over there, little girl. Um, I've been working on a startup myself, and I've, and despite <laughs> everyone being really nice, I've always noticed that there's sort of like you're a bit too young to do this. Yes. How do you get par- past the stereotypes or limitations? I, I think you know the answer, Hillary. I think it's in your own head, right? Like the bottom line is, do you agree with them? Great, you're on your fucking way. <laughs> right? Like, like, like. Listen, I, is your mom here? Like, there she is. Like, you know, like, sh- like you're already, you've already won, right? Like, y- your question, to be, do you want to hear something interesting, Hillary? I don't think you even believe in the question that you just asked me. And that is the ultimate compliment. Because spending time with you backstage yesterday, like, I think that's a cute question, but I actually don't think you give a shit. <laughs> do you give a shit of what people think? Occasionally. Right. I respect that. <laughs> Hillary, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something really exciting. You're 12, right? Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you something super exciting. When I was 12, I occasionally cared what people thought too. That shit goes away real quick. <laughs> That's the answer. Awesome. Like, what? Like, what? Your teacher or your Uncle Rick fucking thinks that you should, you're too early, like, it's just not gonna matter at the end, Hillary. Here's what's gonna happen. Either you're right or they're right. That's what's gonna happen at the end. Spending any time debating who's cheering for what outcome or what point of view is a complete waste of your energy. Hi, I'm Bianca Rochelle, I'm from California, well, not California, San Francisco. <laughs> and I'm not How old are you? I'm nine. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm, I'm a rapper and a business owner. I come to events like Co- Complex Con. I come to ne- network because I push myself and create partnerships with the, with the brands. Do you think I'm going at it the wrong way? You are definitely not going about it the wrong way. <laughs> Little one, you might be going about it the best fucking way here. <laughs> are you enjoying it? Yeah. You love it? Yeah. It, what are you gonna do when you grow up? Um, well, I'm a rapper, so I really, I really, um, I dream about going on tours. Yep. Like, everybody here, like, they're coming to see you. I want them to be like that to me. I love that. Listen to me. Can I, give you a, can I give you a real, real, real good piece of advice that's gonna be really hard for you to take, but please remember it, and hopefully when we chop up this video, we'll send it to you. Mm-hmm. The number one thing you have is time. Yeah. You have something in here that all of us envy, which is an extra 30 years, an extra 20 years, an extra 15 years. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. You can't get caught up in the game that most nine to 11 year old entrepreneurs are getting caught up in that I talk to. <laughs> Oh what, you don't see what I'm doing on Musical.ly? Listen to me. (laughs) That was funny, right? My life's funny. Listen, (laughs) listen to me. The thing that a lot of, you know, single digit entrepreneurs are getting caught up with is you care too much about how many subscribers and followers you got. Yeah. If you promise me this, it will help you so much. If you just make the songs that are in your heart, if you just make the content you want, If I could get you to just never look at how many followers you have for the next 10 years, you will win. It's gonna be hard, all your friends are gonna ask how many, (laughs) you know, everybody here cares how many and they're grown, but if you can get to that place where you don't care about that one thing, it will help you so much you could never imagine. Okay. Can I tell you something else? Yeah. If you talk about your real life, which is obviously very different than our real life, based on how you see things in the world, it will be really interesting shit. Yeah, that's how my songs are. Like, I don't tell fake stuff. I really, I don't 
want to tell fake stuff, I want to tell my life story and how I got here. I love it. Keep getting your thing, girl. I love you. Hey, Gary. Hey, bro. How's your day been? Doing really good, CJ. How are you? Good. Okay, so I'm, I just turned 13, and I was awesome. wondering, like, or I've been st doing YouTube for about two years. Yeah. And the first year, I didn't really get anything done. I get but it. up until this Get summer. anything done as it didn't get traction, or you were bullshitting playing video games? Oh, a second, both of them. Both of them. <laughs> so, but then this summer, this I started summer? to get more like, I quit video games and I got a better view time and attraction. Yep. But I'm still like, I'm at 142 right now, so I'm wondering like, what's one tip you have for kids my age? 142 meaning what? 142 subs. Got it. So, what do you want to happen, CJ? I just want to get at least 300 by the end of the year. Okay, well, first of all, we'll take care of that. <laughs> right, so like, now what? Just to inspire people. Good, so if you want to inspire people, if that's real, right? If that's really what you're about, then you don't need to do anything but continue to put out the content that you think will do that. Thank I think, you. I think the reason I said like, we'll take care of that is, what I don't want you to do that so many people do, whether they're 13 or 81, so many people get into the rat race of how many followers they have, right? And like that's just not the game that you wanna play. Do you know what I mean? Because the reality is, is that that's gonna dictate too many actions. You can't let your self-esteem or self-worth be wrapped up into metrics on YouTube because it's one tiny proxy in the reality of what you're up to. You understand? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna throw a right hook right now. What's the name of your channel, CJ? CJ Bowling. Spell it. C-J-B-O-L-I-N-G. Slower, because you want them to actually fucking follow you? <laughs> CJ. B-O-L-I-N-G. B-O-L-I-N-G. It would really mean a whole lot to me if I've given you one inch of value ever in my life for you to follow this kid. Let's, let's see how many followers he has on YouTube by the end of this weekend. Can I get a picture? Yeah, get in here, Siege. Okay. Come here. Yes. And my mom, I didn't even know that she, um, and I, I didn't even know that I was meeting you when I first saw I was like, I was just, I was speechless. I'm so glad we got to meet, my man. You like the content? What are you gonna do when you grow up? I want to be a YouTuber. My man. <laughs> All right. What are you going to talk about? I don't know, really. You'll I figure it out? Yeah. What are, you, are you making some content now? Yeah. What are you talking about? Your life? Like, your interests? I, yeah. The stuff you're into? Mm -hmm. What are you into? Like gaming and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad we met, man. Want to take a photo? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> Don't ever, 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 ever worry about how many people are subscribed to your channel. The number one reason kids lose on YouTube is they care too much about how many people are subscribed to them. Just be patient, make good content. Nobody was following me for a long, long time. Longer than you were alive right now. Got it? Do you understand? You promise? Promise. My man. Great, awesome.